the end of World War II, humanity came face to face with its own depravity, setting in motion the movement for an international criminal court. Confronted by the systematic extermination of civilians by the Nazi regime, Allied forces took an unexpected approach. Summary executions of those most responsible would be replaced by the rule of law. We ask this court to affirm by international penal action man's right to live in peace and dignity regardless of his race or creed. The, the case, case we, we present, present is a plea of humanity to law. to law. I was then 27 years old. We shall establish it was my first case. The charges we have brought accuse the defendants of having committed genocide. We hoped that we would lay a foundation stone saying that genocide was a crime. Crimes against humanity are punishable. Nobody is immune. The head of a state will be brought to trial. That's what Nuremberg set out to do because there was a big outcry in the public for justice. But the horror didn't stop. The 20th century unfolded as the bloodiest in recorded history. By the end of the 20th century, the cumulative atrocities had accelerated the demand for a global system of justice. The Rome Conference was a culmination of 50 years of effort by the part of those seeking a more humane world. It was a miracle of accomplishment. Government and civil society representatives from around the world met to try to establish the framework for a permanent international criminal court. About 140 governments uh, showed up. There were also many, many NGO, non-governmental organization representatives there. And everyone who was there, I think, certainly I uh, felt this way, knew we were part of a very historic undertaking. You had the sense that so much was at stake and so much hung in the balance. Uh, and that was whether uh, the international community on the verge of the 21st century was going to create an institution that would have the authority to investigate and prosecute these horrific crimes or whether the whole negotiation would just implode uh, and uh, collapse. Some countries at Rome were concerned that submitting to new laws of international justice would limit their national sovereignty. This issue threatened to derail the conference. We hope that in these remaining days of the conference, we can still reach broader agreement among delegations. The vote will now be closed. The machine is now closed. The hall overwhelmingly voted in favor of accepting this statute, the Constitution for the Court. And it was a, an explosion of joy. Because for the first time since Nuremberg, the first time in human history, a truly international criminal court had been drafted and accepted overwhelmingly by the nations in that room. six tumultuous years, the court would take on some of the world's most massive crimes and fight for its very survival. <laughs>